Sales Babble is brought to you by Wingman, your source for actionable sales intelligence. This is the Sales Babble Podcast, episode 414, How to Advance the Sale. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non-sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, sales babblers. This is Pat Helmers. And have you ever been on a sales call that after you hang up, it seems like the deal is going excruciatingly slow? Like a glacier melt? Well, you're not the only one. Which is why on today's episode, we address why deals don't move. And we do this by better understanding the sales process, the buying process, and the strategy of what it means to advance the sale with the aim of closing someday, but probably not today. Winter is starting to wind up here in Chicago, and the days are getting longer, and the sun is getting higher, but it doesn't mean that the bad snows are behind us. Well, it did snow last Thursday, and thank goodness the weather apps on my phone gave us a heads up. They told us what we could expect and how to take action, preparing for an onslaught of wind and ice and snow So it makes me wonder, what if we could have the same service for our business? Well, I'm excited to share that Sales Babble has a new sponsor, Wingman. Wingman is that app that's got your back. It proactively alerts sellers after the sales call when deals are at risk and shares cues on what to say and when to say it. Wingman uses best-in-class automatic speech recognition and natural language processing algorithms specifically for sales. Wingman's a real-time platform to record, transcribe, and analyze sales conversations, which results in revenue growth. So, go to trywingman.com slash salesbabble and get a free demo for a free trial today. Wingman, your source for actionable sales intelligence. And now today's chapter, Advancing the Sale. Questions lead to sharing. Sharing leads to appointment. Appointment leads to possibility. Possibility leads to belief. Belief leads to a quote, quote leads to a purchase. The largest of sales begin with a response to the smallest of acts. This is called advancing the sale. And now today's story. Pat and Chris left the sales call and walked out to the parking lot. They chatted about the weather and what a nice day it turned out to be. When they got to the car, they were out of earshot from the office. It was then when Pat spoke. So how do you think it went? I don't know, responded Chris. They seemed interested, but guarded. I was hoping they would agree to buy today, but it's clear they weren't ready. I agree, said Pat, but we did advance the sale. I like that they asked about some of our existing clients, and they were particularly focused on our new features. We've got our homework to do, but we're still in the game. You don't think they're just too nice to say they don't want to buy, asked Chris? Not at all, said Pat. What I've found is the more we meet, the higher the likelihood they will buy. Today we've advanced the sale, and that's a good day of work. This reminds me of the quote from Frederick Douglass the former slave and abolitionist who said, if there's no struggle, there's no progress. We're sales professionals. We're not order takers. If buying your product was easy, you would only need to put an order form on the website and watch the sales roll in. But that doesn't work for expensive and complex products and services. That's not what we do. There's a process to buying. And if you quit the process, you will quit the results. Always count it a win if you can advance the sale. When you do, you've done your job. 
To download a copy of this week's Tao Te Ching of Sales chapter, you can find it in the show notes at www.salesbabble.com. And you can also find links to our sponsor, Wingman. It's your source for actionable sales intelligence. Go to trywingman.com slash salesbabble and get a free demo for a free trial today. And oh yeah, one other thing. While you're at the website, sign up for our email list and you'll be able to download a free copy of the Tao Te Ching of Sales ebook. This book has been the inspiration for these Sales Babble episodes, and you can see what topics we'll be covering in the future. Use this book for daily inspiration with short one-page chapters on a balanced, non-pushy approach when selling. Well, that's all I've got for this week, folks. So until next Tuesday, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. That's all I've got for this week, folks. Until next Tuesday, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.